Hello everyone, my name is Prime and welcome back to another episode of ATS Showcases and today we are here in Coos Bay and we're heading up to Salem just along the coast there. I think it's going to be a really nice drive and we are taking livestock in this Merit livestock trailer. So it is a mod, it will be linked down in the description below and I am also using the Unleash the Beast mod and today I will be using the Chrome Texas Longhorns that are sitting beautifully on the front of my Western Star 49X and I also have the Rawhide skin on the truck as well so I have to say it matches quite nice and I do love the Merit trailer. It looks really nice to be taking livestock and if I kind of spin around you can actually kind of see uh, just faintly cattle in the trailer which I think is pretty good. So why don't we go ahead and get going. Hopefully everyone is doing well. Uh, I certainly am. Oh and that's the other thing I just realized on the startup. You may have heard it. Uh, not using just the standard uh, Detroit engine in this guy. Zmod's Detroit engine. Oh yeah. I had to. There was no way I was going to do this with the Western Star making it look this awesome, I guess you could say, uh, without using Zima's uh, Detroit engine pack on it because, I mean, it's just too good. It is just too good, my friends. So, like I was going to say, hopefully everyone is doing well. I certainly am. And just enjoying doing some trucking here. Almost done the event. Um, oh, that's not the right gear I want over here. I've been working on it quite a bit. And so I am almost done. Um, just got a few. Only have to do a few extra deliveries on it. And I will be set. Oh, turn prime. Got it. So today I am using the triple configuration for the Merit trailer. And I have to say it looks really, really good. I like the size I'm going to go ahead through here. Don't mind me. Uh, yeah, it does look really good, I have to say. And uh, yeah, I, 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 uh, it's nice to be able to drive a livestock trailer here that is actually ownable and a little bit customizable um definitely i'm hoping and i'm sure a lot of you are as well uh that well that there's going to be a livestock trailer coming with texas i'm hoping that comes in uh because right now we're there are at least one that's ownable because i every once in a while i think you can actually kind of there, there is one technically in the game uh but you can't well own it uh, so it, it would be nice to uh, have an ownable livestock trailer that is for sure and if you keep seeing these cuts throughout the video I apologize I have some construction happening uh, by where I live and uh, they're doing some stuff today and I wanted to get this episode recorded so uh, every once in a while we may see a cut that is just because there's gonna be some loud noises that I am just uh, cutting out of the video and well trying to avoid in because it's just really annoying and actually it's, it's right outside where I am here and uh, I sometimes when it happens I can barely even hear myself so we're just gonna uh, we're, we're just gonna roll with it and see what happens so I apologize for the little cuts here and there it's not technically it's not the way I always like to do it uh, but we're gonna go with it and uh, we'll make do So let's talk a little bit of Wyoming because, well, uh, as of recording this video, uh, they have done an extra little thing on the way stations. Uh, now, knowing my luck, there'll be something else that they release in the, in the next, or well, tomorrow, uh, that could actually uh, impact this. But uh, this, as of right now, that is the latest thing we have on Wyoming. And I have to say, the it's really unique actually having some of the uh, special way stations. And I guess for that, meaning uh, the the point of entry way stations that are uh, de designed more unique to the area. Uh, so that's something that I, uh, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing. And hopefully very, very soon we get the uh, next gameplay video that they had said that they wanted to uh, bring. Because that would ultimately mean then uh, that, well... Wyoming is coming very very soon uh, once the gameplay video comes out I think then we've only got a week or so well hopefully until uh, well the release of the DLC which would be absolutely amazing and well we're just waiting on that second gameplay video and until then we just gotta hope that it comes sooner than later and kind of touching on the Texas DLC, uh, there's still, well, we haven't had any um, blog posts about it for quite some time now, uh, but I think everyone is definitely looking forward uh, to it, and especially with the aspect of potential livestock calling, that's something that, well, has been said quite a bit uh, throughout it, and I don't know if I'm going crazy, I'm, but uh, I would love to see 
uh, livestock trailers and being able to huddle, 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 I was going to say huddle, haul cattle and uh, do many different cattle drives and stuff like that across Texas and, well, across in the southern states because that's kind of a major part here. Uh, so that would be really, really cool uh, to have in the game uh, a stock configurable livestock trailer. That would be just really cool to me. I don't know about you, uh, but I would really love to see that. But my word, let's just take a, a moment to appreciate uh, these longhorns. I think it's actually, it adds a lot to the truck here. I'm going to actually go down here so we can get up this hill quite nicely. It, uh, it, it just adds something to the truck and the whole kind of aesthetic, I guess you could say, of it. I think it's really, really unique and interesting. Uh, so yeah, I am definitely uh, I am definitely a fan of the Longhorn and Unleash the Beast mod. So like I was saying at the beginning, of course the links for the uh, trailer and um, the Unleash the Beast mod will be linked down in the description below. The Unleash the Beast mod is a Steam Workshop mod and the uh, trailer, the Merit uh, livestock trailer is from ATSmods.net I do believe. but. Anyways, I'll have the link down there, uh, down in the description, so you can find that with ease. Gonna put on the brakes a little bit. My word. I just love this Detroit engine, though. Z-Mod, of course, does amazing work, uh, but this is... This is something else I have to say. And of course the engine brake on this thing is absurd. Uh, so hopefully we get a chance. I think we're going to be going downhill soon uh, here. So it'd be nice to get some engine brake action in there. And I wanted to do a, another coastal drive here. We haven't uh, done a ton of coastal drives recently. And uh, well, or at least coast-ish drive. Mainly just these twisty kind of more county roads, I guess you could say. Uh, that well are just really nice to drive on, really picturesque, and, well, just uh, enjoyable to uh, do, don't mind that. Uh, exterior cam, especially the cinematic one, is definitely difficult sometimes to drive in. Uh, so just keep, um, keep, keep that in mind. So let's see maybe when we get up here around the corner, why don't we try and uh, use a little engine brake as we're going downhill here. Well, at least we were. We were going downhill. Corner. Oh, that grunt of that engine pulling us along. Sounds really good. Sounds really good. Here, here's the coast. See, I knew I'd get coastal ride at some point. There you go. Western Star Longhorn. Well, I guess Longhorn element or accent or ornament. Ornament. That is a hood ornament. That's, that's what I was trying to look for in the intro there. Oh my word, I was trying to think before starting recording what I was going to uh, say for it. Uh, but yeah. Longhorn ornament. There we go. Hood ornament. So that is what it is. But I have to say it looks really good. And there are multiple different options there um, for the hood ornament. Uh, of course, you don't have to do the chrome one. You can do the actual horn one. I went for chrome because it then just matches the truck quite nicely, I have to say. But it's been a while since we've been over on this side, like I was kind of touching on earlier, of Oregon uh, and into Washington State. Uh, it is quite nice to, uh, to, to get over here. Uh, it's it, yeah, like I said, it's been a while. Actually, I don't even know. We're not even going into Washington State today. Never mind. Uh, disregard what I just said. <laughs> Considering we are going from Coos Bay uh, to Salem, it's still all in Oregon. Uh, so we're just staying over there. Uh, but it's quite nice, like I was saying. It's uh, we've been a lot. We've been a lot, of course, in uh, Utah, call a little bit of Colorado and Nevada and. Idaho obviously because of the potato event so it's nice to be back over here and uh, maybe we'll do some stuff in California soon uh, get that California Sun uh, on our truck every here and there it'd be nice to probably touch back in in there hopefully the cows are not getting seasick because if I just kind of go back and forth back and forth back and forth I wonder if do you think cows actually get sick by like motion sickness like that I doubt it they're cows but if anyone has actual uh, evidence on that do let me know in the comments because I would like to know. I mean, I would imagine you have to be careful with them because, I mean, although they're kind of in their little compartments or whatever you want to call it in the trailer, you don't want to be flinging them around and stuff because, I mean, that's just, well, it's not really, it's kind of cruel to be honest. And right, speed change up here. Let's do some engine brake. That 
of something else, my friends. Yeah, that is something else. We just love these Z-Mod engine brakes, I have to say. Well, at least I do. And I think a lot of you can agree. It's just something special about that. Uh, it's just that rumble. Th those, multi those multiple layers of it. And it's just, especially with headphones, you hear it all. Uh, but I've done it on speakers as well. I've driven it. Because, uh, of course, I record with headphones, so you guys don't hear all the audio uh, duplicated. Uh, but, yeah, I... I've done it with speakers before, and my word, does it? There's just something. There's something about it. There's just something about it. That's all honesty. It's just, it's just something special when you got that, uh, get that rumble in there, and especially with the turbo, uh, spooling up and stuff. I don't need the high beams on. Oops. Sorry, people ahead of me. Uh, but yeah, it is just something special. This engine mod, I have to say. Always love Z-Mod stuff, and I'm happy now that, of course, 1.41 is out, and it's been out now for a week and a bit. It's nice to finally have uh, a little bit of that stability in these mods, and as stuff, of course, is continually being updated, uh, it is nice to have that, uh, well, all nice and consistent for us. Now, I gotta be careful not the speed, although it won't really matter because this isn't technically the, uh, sh the uh, Prime Logistics, uh, series i still want to be sort of ish realistic i mean as realistic as prime can be because for any of you who've been around here for a while you know something sometimes things just happen around here and uh yeah that's the best way to explain it is just yeah so besides that, uh, thank you guys so much for the continued support here on the channel. I mean, recently we had a massive uh, kind of, I, well, I guess in my eyes, a pretty massive explosion here uh, when it comes to uh, to, to the uh, followers here. It's pretty nice to uh, see that a lot of people are enjoying my content. What did you guys think of the how-to video? I know uh, it's so far it's going over very, very well, um, which I appreciate. Uh, but, of course, if you have any questions or anything you want me to cover, I will definitely go over that. And speaking about uh, kind of picking up a little bit of traction here with the channel, um, I was I was near put in shock when I was looking through the comments of the how-to video, and um, Darius from SES Software, the community manager, had actually commented on the video, uh, and, of course, then followed me on Twitter and stuff, which, shameless plug, if you want to do so, you can always to keep up to date with stuff around the channel and I try to keep up to date with stuff around uh, like the different games and stuff as well that I do but to be honest that's a little bit harder because for some reason my notifications don't always work so hey ho um, but yeah he is uh, he was well he commented and said some really nice things on that video uh, and my word I was honestly put in a little bit of shock uh, and never in a million years would I thought that that would have happened. Um, so, Darius, if you're managing to watch this video, uh, thanks, man. That that means a lot, and uh, hopefully we can see you around here a little bit more often. Uh, but my word, it is uh, it's quite amazing. Uh, I when I saw that, I kind of went into a little moment of shock. Uh, to be completely honest with you, I was not. Now, like I said, I never thought I would uh, have have that comment on there, uh, especially from an SES software, uh, well, employee, let alone the community manager. Uh, at first, I was a little like, oh, okay, someone just created, you know, fake account going on stuff. But then I just looked at the channel, and uh, well, it looks pretty, pretty legit to me. And uh, considering um, the actual Darius and. Um, I think I cut the corner a little bit there, but, uh, whatever. Uh, considering the actual Darius, uh, then followed me, um, like I said, on, uh, on Twitter, I think that's a pretty safe, uh, that's a pretty safe, uh, bet on, uh, that's the actual one. And so, yeah, I am, uh, definitely, I was, when, when that reality hit, uh, I was definitely a very excited Prime, and, uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for the support there. It, uh, means a lot to be able to go out to a ton of people. I know, uh, I can't believe that, well, everyone enjoys content as much as they do. Uh, to me, you know, sometimes I think, oh man, this is gonna be really boring, and then it's the most popular thing on the channel. 
You never know. You honestly never know. And I just, it, I, I really do enjoy just putting out this stuff. Uh, was there sometimes things happen or if it's just a nice clean sailing delivery or uh, whatever aspect of the channel you enjoy. Um, I like having that little bit of diver uh, diversity here. And it's definitely something that I want to continue. And well, things may change in the future. You never know. Uh, but I'm going to do my best to uh, at least keep stuff uh, flowing here a bit. So I think we're getting closer to um, our delivery point here. I'm not 100% sure. Sun is going down. I can't remember if I said at the beginning of the episode that it's going to be an evening trip or not. Uh, it seems like on the bright side, it seems like the construction has died down. I don't know if the guys just left. I mean, it is getting late in the day, so uh, IRL here. So I guess it actually kind of is matching what's in game. Uh, so maybe they decided just to... Uh, book at home but uh yeah uh it is uh definitely nice to have that over with and uh keep stuff a little bit more smooth and, and uh, non-edited in this video it's not that i don't like editing i just like to have a little bit more of an all-in-one go so then it feels less i guess you could say quote-unquote produced um although it is kind of a youtube video so i mean what are you supposed to expect but i just kind of like having it all in one so then you guys well, have a nice smooth delivery and it's not always like, oh, skip time here, skip time here. Uh, I don't know, that's just my personal preference. Doesn't really matter if uh, people do it or not. I just, I, uh, that's, that's what I enjoy and it seems like you guys quite uh, enjoyed that as well. So uh, we're going to keep that uh, kind of momentum going here. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, I know I'm kind of repeating myself, but I think it's kind of an important fact sometimes driving these kind of vehicles in these uh, situations where they're a little bit more i guess you could say back road county road it's just really nice i know our, our customers expect their delivery soon it's just because it took a little bit to get going here <laughs> good old construction i was trying to do the intro and of course that part has to be a little bit more seamless although it ended up not being as seamless because i basically had to just give up uh, i waited I, it was going to be more of like a mid-morning uh, start, but it ended up being an in-game aft early afternoon start because of that. So, yeah. Why is my dash lighting so bright in this truck? I have no idea. That seems a little interesting. I don't know if that was from a different truck or not, but that seems awfully bright. Uh, let's get a little bit more engine brake here. Rip headphone users. I'll, hopefully that... I mean, I do use compressor, so it's not always so bad. Um when it's all said and done. I didn't mean to hit my toggle. But yeah. Uh, definitely a loud one. I... Dude, that is a perfect stop right there. Like, talk about on the line. Like, look at... I hold my uh, camera like that. You can see that is perfectly square on the line. I have to say, that was a... That was a pretty good stop. Good thing I did stop, because that could have been, a, then I turned a little bit over the line. Come on, get into, what? Come on. Shifter's been a little weird. I think uh, some of the buttons are kind of going a little funky, uh, but it's generally pretty good. Uh, we're going to have to stop here. A little hard on the brakes. I wasn't paying attention to up ahead. That's a little bit more like it. It's the way I kind of like it. I can't actually pull it away in second. Um, it's got to feather the clutch a little bit more than uh, normal, but you just basically got to pound the throttle and release the clutch a little bit. Don't know if it's overly great on the transmission, if it were in real life, but uh, it couldn't be that bad. These transmissions are made for a decent amount of stuff. We're just going to kind of get it rolling here a little bit because it should be going green any second, like there. And plus, it gives us the uh, chance to, well, listen to this glorious rumble of this engine. Uh, because you wouldn't always be able to do that. So let's put on the indicator here uh, and go ahead and get over here. I know I'm crossing over earlier, but that way the people behind me can uh, get into the lane nice and easily. So there we go. That's a pretty simple turn in here. Crank the wheel over. No one's coming, so I can uh, kind of cut across that uh, entry of the lane there. 
maybe not the most legitimate thing you should do, but if there's no one there, I don't think it's really that big a deal. Get the high beam on because getting dark, another evening delivery, which is actually kind of nice. Haven't done, like, it's doing a lot of uh, things we haven't done in a while. Evening delivery, and I'll go more into night. I mean, it is uh, basically 9.30 in game. Uh, handy little clock on the side there. Uh, so it's definitely getting late. Uh, so it's definitely no slouch. We gotta uh, be turning up here. Oh, I want eights. Oh, I just missed the turn. I was focusing way too much uh, on other stuff. So luckily, there's no one uh, right there. I don't want that. Uh, let's go ahead and back up because, well, there's no one. There's no one around here. But look at the lights on this Western Star. Like my word, dude. It looks so good. We're gonna go over. We're just gonna have it kind of on the edge here. Uh, so then I gotta get through that gate, which is probably easier said than done. Uh, so let's put it over here. Good thing there's no traffic around here. Put it in the third. Can't really see because my monitor. Yeah, I knew it. I knew I would go past. You guys are probably yelling, Prime, Prime, you're going past. Well, I can't see. Good old monitor, my friends. Good old monitor, and I can't even see my trailer. Oh uh, boy, I got a real. I really gotta get an IPS monitor. <laughs> These, uh, I think mine's a, a like TN panel or whatever it is. Uh, definitely not a. Uh, come on, get in a second. Oh man, it can pull away in fourth. I doubt it. Well, at least we're through the gate there. Okay, we're gonna we'll make it around. Gee, I don't know why it keeps wanting to go to forest, but probably just my uh, placement here isn't overly amazing. Leave the high beams on, yeah, because I can't I can't see any more than what the lights are showing in front of me. So uh, and the mini map. So that's that's or the GPS. Sorry, that's that's bad. I may have to consider uh, s consider a little upgrade. So uh, you may never know. <laughs> Because this is a problem. This is a problem. But it's okay. Just main reason why I don't do a ton of night deliveries, to be completely honest with you, is, uh, I mean, because I don't want to crank the game brightness, because then that's, it just looks really bad. Um, so I kind of, I leave it stock and then just generally deal with the, uh, deal with the repercussions here. Uh, where we got to park? I think it's right in that bar in there. It is. Uh, so let's let's just uh, roll around here and kind of pivot, pivot around here. Probably not great on the trailer. Sorry, cows. And put the flashers on. Try not to hit the guardrail. What's happening here? Okay, we gotta just go back a little bit. Come on. There we go. There's reverser. That way I can uh, get going here just a little bit. That way we can line ourselves up quite nicely to go backwards. Uh, so let's see. Can I see? Barely. Not really because of how far away from I, I am from my screen. Uh, so we're going to do this exterior review for at least the first bit there. I know it's not overly realistic, but... Uh, Hey ho, I don't want to uh, try and reverse for ages around here. And once we get over to this side, I can go inside and use the look around the shoulder method. Because that seems to work well. Trailer does handle quite nicely. I mean, it is longer, so it's easier to try and uh, correct things. I think I'm going to be hugging that one side pretty close. Oh my word, I am. Uh, so let's go ahead forward here now that we're over and straight with it. That way I can uh, I can still use the shoulder technique there I like to use in my setup, but at least I can try and get it back, correct it back a little bit so it's not so far away. Let's run it back here. Let's see if, well, I think that's looking actually pretty much perfect. I mean, it may be hugging this side a little bit more than we should, but it's honestly not that bad. There we go. You know what? I don't think they would complain with that. It's in the spot, no damage. 
that is pretty good can probably turn off that and uh, turn off the flashers and uh, might as well turn off the headlights and the truck and go outside and thank you guys so much for watching uh, again let me know if you have any form of ideas uh, when it comes to uh, mods I want to do I do have a few things lined up so definitely stand or uh, keep keep uh, around for that one and to keep an eye out for uh, some very interesting ATS uploads uh, coming in the future obviously next week is ETS two weeks so I'm going to actually be doing uh, some stuff on there that's going to be pretty pretty good and other than that thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one